Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of enterprise software, guys. Okay, so enterprise softwares are of two types, guys. So basically, we are having the cloud-based computing, which we discussed till now, right? We discussed about the infrastructure, platform as service, and software as service. So those all comes under the cloud-based, and the other type is enterprise or cloud ERP, guys. So basically, ERP is nothing but enterprise resource planning. So basically, this is hundred percent open to the user, guys. So they can do anything they want. That's the power here. Okay. Yes. So software applications are over the internet. So these are over the internet, and these are also over the internet. But these are enterprise resource planning. So basically, you can do any modifications. Guys, we'll be going through a diagram. So don't worry. Okay. Yes. So software as a, as a service, yes, 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 model allows to use a software application as service to end users. So the best examples will be your Gmail and all those things. Okay. Yes, we are having various examples here, guys. So it includes IaaS, yes, 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 yes. Uh, and uh, what's the other thing platform as service paas so these three will included in this only guys and in enterprises we are having on premises okay yes so the diagrams you can draw it in this way guys okay i think the text is clear right yes so the first layer is application data or runtime middleware operating system virtualization server storage network so in software as a service okay so you are not having any right to do any kind of changes you are just going to use the application the front end application that's it Got it. So that is a software as a service, guys. Guys, you can draw these diagrams in software as a service and platform as a service and infrastructure as a services in unit one services also. Okay. So that will also work. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. So once you are done with the software as a service, so now let us move to platform as a service. So in platform as a service, you give some chances. So basically, it is used by developers, right? So this is used by end users, and this is used by developers. So they they should install the application and they can do some data storage and all those things. So hence, these two are allowed by you. and the rest of the things will be managed by your provider okay so that is a platform as a service okay whereas in infrastructure you will be controlling some runtime environments and all those things right so that is the reason why two more layers have been given to you like runtime and middleware okay yes so this is infrastructure as a service whereas on premises is nothing but everything is given to you you can do any kind of modification guys okay yes so that comes under on premises environment okay yes so now you i hope everyone got some basic idea right okay so now let us go through some benefits guys okay so the benefits are it will be pay per use so you are not going to buy those resources and all those things you are going to pay per use how much you are using that much you are going to pay that's it okay similarly cloud erp is a faster since no installation is required so it is also a web based hence there is no installation required guys okay similarly it is dynamically adjusting of resources so if you want to change any kind of resource you can do within minutes guys that is the major advantage similarly automated backups and recovery can also be done good security remote access is also possible okay yes so this is all about the enterprise software guys so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture let us discuss about the enterprise custom application okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching